Hi, my name is Trina. I'm a self-made solo female backpacker and this is my channel. Hi guys and welcome to the channel. This one is about how I failed not just one but two backpacking trips and this is how I did it. First, I just want to talk about who am I? <laughs> I'm a self-made solo female backpacker. I'm from Denmark, the country with no mountains and uh, I've hiked for seven years now covering over 900 kilometers in the backcountry. I've had a lot of good trips, really good trips, and I could easily tell you and show pictures of how amazing hiking is. And I can tell you how addicted I am to backpacking and how it changed my life completely. And this channel is about how I can inspire you to get out on the trail as well. So there's gonna be a lot of motivation from this channel as well. However, this one is about how I totally, completely failed my two first trips and this just shows how it can be difficult to start out being a backpacker. So I hope you can learn from my mistakes a little bit when you go out backpacking yourself. Okay, so how did I start? My first backpacking trip was in 2018 and the second one was in 2019. and. This is how I filled the trips completely. So the first one didn't plan enough. I went on these trips with only one week where I prepared for the trip. I didn't know anything about backpacking at all. So one of the major things that I didn't plan was that it's not allowed to have your tent set up in Germany. And those were my first two trips in Germany. And they take it pretty seriously not to do that when you, especially when you are in the national parks and I didn't care I knew this but I didn't think it was that serious so I took my tent with me I was excited I just got a new gear I wanted to use my gear and I didn't have any money so I was thinking I could just hide somewhere in the woods take my tent up and that would be fine it was not so I got actually discovered by a park ranger on my second trip and that's where I really learned that follow the rules. The second one is how you should really be careful about your gear. I didn't have any money so I bought the most cheap shoes I could find and I thought that's fine I can hike in those. They couldn't. So I completely destroyed my trip because I had the wrong shoes. It totally ruined my feet and it almost felt like the bones in my feet was broken and my feet started to swell and get a lot of blisters. The second one is a kind of very hot one. It's food and water. Always, always have more food and water with you, even though it's very <laughs> annoying to have the extra weight in your backpack. It's really essential because you can be on a trail where you think you can get water and food but it's not that easy and you really don't want to have a day where you can't have the proper dinner or anything because you don't have the right food. That would make your trip miserable and you will be very moody and <laughs> you, will, you will end up hating the trail and that's not what you want to do on your backpacking trip. The last one is that start out small. I started out way too big. I have big dreams about being in the mountains and I took on those two trails that was just too much for me. I couldn't handle it and yes, I cried on both trails. So please be careful of what you start out with. And I'm really happy that I learned these things because it made my next, my third backpacking trip way better, way better. Had I hoped to learn these things in another way. Yes, I hated it. <laughs> but some of the most important things you just have to learn on trail. And that's kind of how you learn the best. So I hope I didn't scare you with these things. And uh, <laughs> if you are scared, please comment down below and we can maybe talk about it. But please know that it ended up really good. I've had some amazing trips and I'm gonna show you a lot of that later on. So please stay tuned. 
So I hope you learned a little bit about what to do and what not to do. And I really hope to see you around. Mm -hmm.